Hello everybody, this is Ian from Scilabs, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use Singularity to download pre-built container images. Before I do that, if you don't know how to install Singularity Pro, feel free to check out the link to our previous video at the top of your screen. So today I'm just going to download an Ubuntu container from Singularity Hub. So we can go to Singularity Hub and pick out our container, and then we'll just copy this URI. And then we can go back to our terminal. So we can download this using Singularity Pull. And then we'll use a name flag so that we can specify the name of our container. I'm going to call this Ubuntu underscore s dot SAMG for singularity image. And then we'll specify that it's coming from Singularity Hub using shub colon slash slash and then pasting in the rest of that extension. So now we're starting to download our container. I'm going to cut to the end of this so you don't have to watch. So now we have our singularity image. So just for reference, I'm running CentOS on my computer so we can verify that using LSB underscore release dash a and we can see that is the case and if we want to see what's inside of our container we can use singularity exec specify our container and then we'll specify a command we want to run within it so in this case I'm going to run a cat command that'll read what's in the etc slash lsb dash release file and we can verify that this is an Ubuntu container so singularity hub is a great way to get your hands on a singularity image but some of the containers you might want to run may actually be Docker images from Docker Hub. So we actually have the ability to create Singularity images from Docker Hub as well. So we're going to head over to Docker Hub and look for a container. In this case, I'm going to do another Ubuntu container so we can go back to our terminal. But this time we're going to use a different command. Instead of using pull, we'll use build because Docker images differ from Singularity images in that they have layers. So we actually need to merge all those layers together to create a final Singularity image. So we'll use sudo singularity build and then we'll give our container a name. I'm going to call it Ubuntu underscore D. And then we'll specify that's from Docker Hub using docker colon slash slash. And then the name of the container we want. In this case, it's Ubuntu. So now we're starting to download a Docker image and convert it into a Singularity image. So I'm just going to cut to the end of this. So now we can see that we have our Singularity image that was created from a Docker image downloaded from Docker Hub. So we can see what's inside our container using the same command as before. So I'll use Singularity exec name our container, Ubuntu underscore D, and then the command we want to run, which is cat slash etsy slash lsb dash release. And we can see that this is also an Ubuntu container. So it's important to note that the layers within Docker images from Docker Hub can change over time. So this reduces the reproducibility of your containers because what you build from right now may not be exactly the same as what you build from in the future. But other than that, Docker Hub is a great way to get your hands on a singularity image. That's all for today. Thanks for watching.